Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's evening, early evening on the East Coast. Um, still afternoon, late afternoon in the Midwest. And still um, early afternoon over in the Pacific. But good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. So I wanted to um, talk to you all about a very, very important topic because um, you all know that I have begun courses um, teaching courses and, um, and, um, it's entitled the 50, 50 purpose project. And so as I'm going about, um, you know, teaching and leading and guiding students in these, uh, courses, I've come to learn that there is quite a bit of individuals that have a hard time grasping and even becoming aligned with themselves or even becoming aware of what their purpose is, identifying their purpose, not because they just don't know or not because there is no purpose to, to obtain. No, no, no. Because everybody has a purpose. It's just a matter of understanding what it is, identifying that purpose, okay? But one of the biggest hangups, one of the biggest hangups that a lot of my students have have had in this process and on this journey is the fact that they just don't feel worthy enough. They don't feel worthy enough and they don't know why. Worthiness, you all, worthiness, that is a big thing. You will be surprised to know that there are some of the most popular, some of the most beautiful some of the most um, wealthy individuals on the face of this earth don't feel worthy, truly worthy of what they have, what they desire, all of those things. Worthiness. Questions like, am I good enough? Am I worthy? Am I inherently of value? Life is priceless and valuable in the face of this divine, undefiable our surroundings that, that, that we are faced with every day. They question themselves, how do I measure up in this? How do I calculate my own worth, my value? Um, and if it exists, my own pricelessness. It is shocking. It is shocking. To know that some people do not see their own worthiness. Okay? Everything, everything about you is wrapped up in your evaluation of yourself. Everything. Some of the things that we cannot accomplish in life or we have not even embarked on or attempted to embark on in life is wrapped up in your evaluation of yourself. Every single thing. Every issue or obstacle somehow, some way relates to your sense of self-worth. Every action, every decision, every moment is filtered through your lens of self-worth. Why? Because every person on the planet questions his or her value. Every person feels compelled to prove their value. Every person feels that there's value um, in the questions from, from, from their birth and the day they were born until the day they're to die, they question every single thing, every single thing about their lives, their worthiness, their value from the beginning of written history, story and myth revolved around worthiness, kings and queens and, and knights and, 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 and all of these, the battles were fought to see who's more worthy. The day of final judgment is entirely about ascertaining worth. Karma. Karma is an assessment of value, worth, and failure. Divine rewards recognize merit and worthiness. Every single thing in life is based around worth. Life experience is an unceasing push to prove worth and value. The idea of being in service is also a worthiness issue. Your very service to other people, you helping other people, 
is based around proving your own worth. You want to talk to, talk about the truth of the matter? It is. It is. And if the person that you're helping is suffering dire circumstances, you know, you'll hope to attain even more credit and value because you help them big. All for your own self-worth. Yet, no matter what you do and how much you serve, you are left questioning, left wondering, am I good enough? Did I do enough? Did I help enough? You set out again, reaching out, grabbing whatever outside of yourself may help you prove beyond anyone's doubt that you are good enough. However, there's nothing outside of you that will prove your worth. Worthiness is an inner personal experience. No matter what you do, you will never be able to satisfactorily prove your value ever. Why? Because your value is intrinsic. Your value doesn't require proof to exist. Your value is inherent and has been part of you from the original moment of your soul's awareness. Your value exists as a part of you. Not anything that you do. Nothing. It cannot be and doesn't need to be proven. Not for you or nobody else. Seeking personal value by looking outside will lead you in the wrong direction. Doing things for what they call today clout. Looking inside, you find your worth quietly hoping you'll notice and, 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 and stop your futile search of recognition so that people can can show value so that then it'll reflect on you and then you'll start to value yourself. Mm. Your worth is a beautiful melody of balance and alignment, able to shift rhythm and tune as you experience life, make choices and trust yourself in your own truth. Not about right. It's not about enough. It's not about perfect. It's about openness. It's about allowing. It's about accepting. Always. You have to know that you are worthy. Okay? It's it's times like this that when I when I see a pattern of this type of 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 toxic arresting behavior. It is times like this. I had to even, I'm thinking about on, on my students and I'm like, my God, a lot of us have not and cannot reach our pinnacle moments in life, our greatest achievements, our um, desired results, because we don't see our own value. We are steady proven and proven and proven and proven, trying to do outward things to bring an inward result. Always. So this is what I tell my students, and, and this, I, I'm not charging for this. This is what I want you to do. I want you to have a self-analysis and sit with you. Not with anybody else. Sit with you. Speak with you. And deal with that heart space. I want you to ask yourself questions like, what makes me feel not good enough? Allow yourself to feel the feeling that that question even brings to you. Then ask yourself, how does my value for perfection create inner obstacles and misunderstandings within myself? Allow yourself to feel that and then allow yourself to answer it. Then go to the next question. How can I break my habit of looking outside of myself for validation? We say that we don't care about what other people think, but do you really? Do you really? Because your actions, your words, your thoughts, your everything lines up with the fact that, yeah, I actually do care. Look at the things that we do for laughs. 
Look at the things that we do for for recognition. Look at the things that we do to appeal to a certain caliber of people. Hmm. Feel the moment. Feel the feeling that you feel when you ask yourself this question. Next question. How does self-trust support my acceptance of my self-worth? Do you trust you? Do you trust you? Really? Do you believe that you're trustworthy as a person? Feel that. Feel that feeling that comes with that question. Answer that question. And then the final question, what is my truth today about my own self-worth? What is my truth today about my own self-worth? Those are questions that we need to ask ourselves in our own reality. Let's be real. Everybody want to keep it 100, but still not keeping it 100. Because if you were, you would be where you desire to be. You would know what you're here for, what you're breathing for, if you were keeping it 100. The first person that you need to keep it 100 with is yourself. Is yourself. There's a lot of people, a lot of Christians that want to say, you know, um, they want to quote the scripture. All liars will have their seat in hell, right? A lot of folks will find their seat in hell for lying to themselves. Huh? Something to think about. Something to think about. Stop lying to you. You're worthy of your very own truth to you. That is one of the biggest dilemmas that I come across in my, with my students. And it's so, 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 so sad. And I cry for them. My heart cries for them. My God, you know why? Because that was me too. (laughs) <laughs> and it's nothing, nothing that another soul can tell me about Miss B today. You understand me? Nothing. <laughs> Am I worthy? You damn right. Hmm. Okay. End the old story. Period. Period. Okay. And and it's unfortunate that a lot of our, especially our queens, oh, especially our queens, And then our kings, our black men, my goodness, once we elevate that self-worth, there's nothing that is out of your reach, nothing, because you would know that you're worthy of it, and then you would make the steps towards it. For those of you all who need help, because I know, I know that we cannot live this life alone. Some of us just don't know how to. We want so much, but we just don't know how to obtain it. Contact me, please. Do not continue to sit in this. Do not continue to sit in this. Please inbox me and let me help you. Let me help you. For once in your life, be honest with you. If you need help, say so. Help is here. I love you. I mean it. There's absolutely positively nothing you can do about it. Don't you even try it. You all have an amazing evening.